Hello gamers. This is Girl Gamer Plays. And this here is a very important cardboard box. The reason why it's important is because this here is holding my scuff gaming controller. Yes, I finally got it. After what seemed like a year and forever, no really it was about what, seven to eleven business days. And uh next time I'm making sure to do it within a speedier delivery delivery, which I think is like three or four or so something like that. But it took a while. But it finally got in. This here is the butter knife I hope to be able to open this with. <laughs> I'll have to set the camera aside. But <coughs> well it's set aside. <coughs> and I'm opening this. I'm going to talk a little bit about how I've been doing with the other controller, the one that you guys have seen before, with the control freaks and all. I don't know, it's not a 50-50. Last night I had a bit of a frustrating uh, game, but only because, you know, I was really tired. You know, when you're really tired, you really don't do your best. Even if you are better than other people, you still don't do your top to your best when you're tired. So I had a little frustrating gameplay uh, the other night. Well, I just called it quits and just went to bed. Just like, forget it. <laughs> and I was trying to knife only, too, so I guess I didn't really help. I did kill some people, though. It's kind of funny. I also got some other funny things happening in the game. Like this one guy who I thought he glitched <laughs> something in cove where he could stand in the water partially. But no, he just found a little area where he could actually stand somewhat in the water and um, hope to get a kill. The funny thing about that is, though, he didn't even have cold blood on. And even if he did, it would be a little awkward, <clears throat> given that, you know, it's free for all. And so, obviously, he's still, he's still a target. Nobody's going to be dumb enough to run by him thinking he's like a, uh, I don't know, like a tree trunk or something. But anyway, here it is. Scuff Gaming. I was half expecting this to be green, but I forgot. This is PS3, so it's obviously going to be blue, since Sony's all into the blue thing. And I bought an original, I thought about getting different colors and stuff, and they used to have a nice color selection for the, uh, the buttons and stuff. But then they, they kind of just went downhill with that, I guess. I guess people just weren't selecting that much. They still have the different color controllers, at least the ones that still exist, but, you know. Alright, set aside again to open it. <clears throat> Let's see here. Professional controller for PS3. Hmm. How do you push the button? There we go. And you push the box like this. Okay. I don't know. In order to open this easily without tearing this apart, you push the box like so. But if you want to, you can also just, you know, rip this apart. Um, let's see. You can be really lazy also and do that. Try not to let it drop off the arm. That's the plan. Ah! And I failed miserably. But that's okay. Now, let's open this bad boy. Hopefully you're not upside down, but if you are, it won't really matter. Okay, I have to do this with my hands. I'm not trying to mess this up. Let's do it! Ah, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, well, I guess it doesn't really matter if it's upside down. Oh, righty kins. So, the top of the box will just sit there, and here we go again. Scuff Gaming. And I'll let you guys glance at this for a sec. This is how it looks. I actually think it was supposed to be upwards. Probably like that. The other way. And for some odd reason it's stuck this way. Well, anyway. Let's see what this says right quick. This says... <coughs> Set up your scuff. First sync controller to console. Then turn on gaming console and start a game of your choice. Video instructions may be found here www.scuffgaming.com slash instructions. Controller features include back paddles, hypersensitive triggers, no slow turn, scuff grip, military grade, decreased weight, patent, patented design, competition approved. Rate reduction achieved by removing controller rumble pack. Approved. So, nozzle shows front and the back. That's interesting, because I don't think I ever talked about removing the rumbles to begin with. And I'm still on the back of that. I don't remember talking about that. <clears throat> no, apparently I also have to do this with two hands. Oh, no, no, I don't. Never mind. Ta-da! Wow. It basically feels the same, with the exception of these. And 
let's see. So this one's left, so this one is, uh, can you hear that? This one should be X, and this one should be circle here. This, hold on. This one here should be circle. This one should be X. Voila! And it, it basically looks the same as, um, my other one. Again, I said I was going to do, like, different colors, but I decided against that because it costs more to do all that. So, it it basically almost looks the same way. Now, this does not have the uh, grip on the back either because that would also cost a lot. But, yeah, and I don't have uh, trigger stops going on either. I'm pretty sure if I put it back in, I could, but I don't have that going on right now. And I'm going to put some control freaks on this, like this one right here. This is the one I've been playing with for the past longest. <laughs> yeah. Um, I'm thinking about putting the other um, control freaks on this one. So, let's see here. What that? that? So, voila. I may even just put these on here just to start. Because, you know, at least that way I won't waste the other uh, control freaks completely. So, one of these days, and it's probably going to be done with this camera, sadly, for those of you who are expecting better... Um, um, quality video, but someday I will bring you a gameplay with the Scuff Gaming Controller. I'm really excited and I'm glad I finally got it. Well, this is Girl Gamer Plays. <laughs> Thank you for watching. And, uh, I will bring you the gameplay with the Scuff Gaming Controller sometime soon.